Sam Dampier with Inside Pool Extreme News reporting to you from Charlotte, North Carolina at the GenerationPool.com Nine Ball Championships. Joining me is Johnny Archer, the Scorpion, who has just finished third, fourth in the event. Tough match against Ronnie Wiseman. You were down five to two, ended up finishing Hill Hill. Yeah. How do you feel overall? I mean, it looked like you were struggling a little bit. Yeah, I played bad. I played. A, I just played a bad match. I missed many shots. Uh, he didn't play well either. You know, he just happened to play a game better than I did. Um, but you know, it's just one of them things. I, you know, I, my stroke wasn't the same as the last two or three day, couple days, and um, you know, I wasn't delivering the cue right, and I felt it. And I was there at the end. I felt a little better the last couple games, uh, but you know, I just didn't play well, and and I, I lost. It did look like initially in the, one of the earlier games, I heard you say something to, to Kim Dav Davenport, your corner man there, uh, that you had a hard time seeing the balls a little bit. Well, I, yeah, I, I just a couple shots I missed. I couldn't, I wasn't seeing the ball good. When I, when I overcut the six ball, the one game, when I tried to draw it, I know I probably shot it wrong. I should have followed the ball. And I just kind of shot it wrong and, and got up there. And, and, uh, and I couldn't see the shot very well, and I shot it anyway. Uh, so that was my mistake. And, uh, you know, nobody else's fault but mine. But I know that you are thankful that you had a morning match earlier mm -hmm. uh, last night. You mentioned that you're you're glad you played at noon instead of one of the evening matches. You're yeah. more of a morning person. Yeah, I'm up early, so uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I felt fine. You know, uh, wasn't nothing the way I felt. I felt fine. I just didn't perform well. So yeah, mornings are okay for me. I do have to bring up, there was a little bit of controversy during that match. It looked like Ronnie had a potential double hit. The balls were a little bit close together, and you had asked Steve Tipton, who was at the table refing, what, what the ruling was. Well, you know, it was bad timing. Um, you know, there's was no, no getting around that. But that was the, to me, it was the only time. Um, I tried to do it as quick as I can before he was ready to shoot. I know he had just gotten down over the ball. And I just, you know, I just uh, asked a question. Uh, it was a, about a half a chalk width length apart. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I didn't know what the rule was. It looked like to me he was shooting straight into the ball, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and, and I didn't know what the rule was. I just wanted to get it for my own personal satisfaction. I wanted to know kind of what the rule was and how could he shoot this ball for it to be legal, a legal shot. And Steve said, well, if he shoots away from the ball, you know, it's legal, and, that's, and I knew that. But it looked like to me he was shooting into the ball. So, yeah, I jumped, but I tried to do it as quick as possible, you know, before he was ready to shoot. And, you know, if that messed him up, that I, I, don't, I don't understand that because I'd done it right, way before he was ready. Well, you, Steve Tipton did announce you as the male player of the decade mm -hmm. and a well-deserved title. You have a very good track record with this event. You won it back in 2000. You have two second-place finishes, also a fourth-place finish, and now a third-fourth finish. Going in, coming into this event in this match day, does that put a, more pressure on you? Or, or I mean, no, do you feel? I, I, I didn't feel any more pressure. Um, no, uh, you know, I've, I've played well here, so no, I didn't feel any more pressure. If anything, I, I probably felt a little less pressure, uh, but, you know, I just, uh, you know, I just didn't perform. That's just what it come down to. I didn't perform, I didn't execute the shots, and in a result, I got beat. We have mentioned previously that this event has always been held in Las Vegas, Nevada with the amateur event. This is the first year it's in Charlotte. Do you do you like that? It's a little bit closer to home for you. Are the playing conditions a little more uh, close to home for you? Yeah, um, I enjoy it. You know, I'm gonna enjoy it a little better here. Um, you know, so I, and my play was a result of it. I played well, you know, up to the last match. But um, yeah, um, you know, it felt better. I'm more at home here. You know, I have my car here, so you know, I can go here and there like I want to. Uh, Kim's here. He's my roommate. So yeah, we had a great time, and we're having a good time, and and uh, you know. It just didn't turn out as good as I'd like. Yeah, well, I checked your schedule. You've got a lot of dates on your calendar for 2008. Is this a busy time of year for pool for you? Well, I'm doing a lot of uh, a lot of pool schools, a lot of okay. shows. Um, you know, and we're doing. You know, look us up online. Uh, I'm gonna get with Jr. here, and we're gonna try to advertise <laughs> some stuff. So, you know, uh, yeah, we're doing a lot of lot of teaching. You know, a lot of things. And uh, you know, if we're in your area, look us up. It's cheap. Um, sometimes Earl and I are gonna do it. Sometimes we do things, and uh, sometimes I'll be by myself. So uh, we'll go with Johnny Archer. That's right. Excellent. Does that kind of take away from your own training a little bit? Do you feel that? That takes away from your own practice. Oh, it's definitely not the same training, no. Uh, it's, it won't get me ready for tournaments. Uh, <laughs> my practice and all that does. But, you know, it's different. I'm getting more into it. Um, I've never done it before, so I'm learning as I go, too. And uh, it's kind of it's getting a little easier. There's one last thing I 
absolutely have to ask you, everyone okay. has always wondered this, there's part of your pre-shot routine is to remove the balls from the pocket and is it in front of where you're about to shoot? Is that a superstition thing or kind of a distraction thing or is it top more, secret? <laughs> probably more of a distraction. Sometimes if the colored balls are kind of over where I'm shooting, you know, I can see the glare off the lights, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, instead of worrying about it while I'm down shooting, I go ahead and remove them. Sometimes if I shoot a ball into a pocket hard, you know, I put balls in there so, you know, they don't jump out. I just try not to take any chances and, you know, uh, it takes a little longer, but, you know, that's me. There you have it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again for joining me. Good luck to you in your next event. Again, Sam Diep here with Inside Pool Extreme News with the Scorpion, Johnny Archer, reporting to you from Charlotte. Make sure you check out InsidePoolMag.com for your up-to-date tournament news, results, and videos. Take care.